guys your brother here and welcome to another blog tech tips and of course guys they have a special unboxing and of course these are of these on for you solar lights now of course the guys over at on for you were glad um, kind enough to send us this review unit so we did not pay for this unit it was sent to us for review and of course we like to do it justice all right guys so let's run this device through its spaces and look at what you get with the on for you solar lights now if you're looking for some solar lights to add some light in your um, home especially at those dark regions this one is a very um, flexible device you'll find that out oh, those solar lights you can purchase these on places like amazon but of course there's the popular ones that basically give you basic functionality with light and they're very small you can purchase this for the same um, price except that you get a way larger unit that produces much more light and it's much more impressive all right so for what they're offering on for you is actually um what looks on paper like a very nice device as i haven't tested this out as yet but of course um with the overall look and the feedback that i've seen online these things look to be very great so we're going to look at them in detail so let's check out the box so we have the on for you logo as shown there on the front you can see a preview of the product and what it will look like there's an on for you and it's led solar light or um of course you can check out the package and it does show some information here and these are solar so they have to be charged before they're used so we'll have to charge these all right so this is just a test to see what it's like so it comes with this tab here and i'm going to pull this out to open up all right guys so once you open the box as seen here you'll notice the um, paper tab if we open this section here guys notice that inside we have the solar lights so um, this package comes with two there's also the um, documentation so check it out guys it says here um, led solar lights product manual it gives you the model number of the product right there so you can check these out for yourself um, in terms of the information all right so it gives you a rundown of the information and to how to use these and so on so i'm going to put this aside and this is the light itself check it out guys it's quite um big and inside as well you'll find that it has the leds at the front there there is the mounting hardware inside so we're going to take these out And here's the back plate and uh, mounting hardware. This is the lights itself. All right, so let's come back when we have these out. All right, guys, so we do get the mounting brackets. These are the mount these on the walls. You'll need a drill to put these in. And of course, once you put these on, you can clip these to the wall um, to charge. So you'll need that. We'll put that aside. We have the manual. We're going to put this aside as well. And of course, we have the main lights here. Let's open up one of these to see what the lights are like. All right, guys, so we have started here. You can check out the lights itself. And let's check this out. So here we have the solar panel section that gives you the ability to absorb um, light. Inside is the battery. And of course, here we have the lights themselves. One of the fun things I like about this, guys, is it has three adjustable heads. There's the main head. There's the adjustable section here that can be adjusted according to how you need it and here as well now one of the fun things about this as well is that you get the motion sensor here meaning this is what's going to pick up motion and of course these lights can turn on um, there are different modes where it can keep producing light at a dim mode and if it detects movement it will increase the, the the brightness of the light so there are various operational modes you can operate under you can notice the mechanisms here this is made out of um, a solid plastic solar panel here that can be adjusted to get the best um, possible light um, from the mounting position and of course the ends can be moved both of them here and of course if we go around here guys and of course this is adjustable you can notice the section around here guys there's um the modes so there's um three modes so there's off which is this is in no there's one two and three and when you're finished you simply close this section here so you actually hide the mechanisms that are that are used to control the unit and of course as i told you the heads are adjustable guys so you can actually adjust the heads as needed 
for best lighting condition all right so so far so good as you can see the back here and of course you'll place these on a wall or somewhere that you're gonna think about um mounting once you do guys you can um hook up the clips right here i think based on what i'm seeing and the lights would then work and absorb sunlight and once they absorb enough sunlight guys you can um, mount these in the appropriate spot and they'll work quite fine all right so overall i like the size i like the presentation and of course the uh, mechanisms are easy to find so overall guys um, this looks like a very solid um, product um, I like the fact that you get lots of LEDs you can see already that this will produce very bright light I like the fact that it's solar again which means it's environmentally friendly it's not using um, any fossil fuels to produce the energy it's using the natural sun I like that there's a motion sensor that um, it doesn't have to be on always it can turn on as needed all right so that's just some of the things I like about this at the back here i like the strong plastic and the arms that are here that allows it to be uh, work and of course there's the mounting sections here that will attach to the wall using the mechanisms i'll show here which is the mounting mechanisms and once you get these mounting mechanisms on the wall you can actually attach this if i'm reading this correctly or um, estimating and it will be hooked up all right again you do get this nice manual that you can um, consult from and you get two in the box all right so so far so good and of course we'll be testing this out by charging it in the sun and then i'll come back when i am able to test this out and show you what this thing is capable of and of course you can choose whether or not you want this product i'll put a link in the description and to the full um, article you can also check out the purchase links there as well all right guys so i'm gonna do the night test and i'll switch or wait until the night it's night and what I'm going to do is going to turn off the lights and then I'm going to test the lights now just to show you what it's like and the level of brightness it produces in the dark. Alright guys so it's now um, pitch black in the room. I've turned out the lights and I'm going to um, test the lights. So do pay attention and do watch out for uh, the flash. Alright so here we go. All right, so that's the light that is produced. As soon as motion is detected, my hand was detected. You can see the level of light that is produced in the room. Once the uh, motion is detected, the lights do come on. And there are different modes. You can have a dim mode, or you can have the light simply come on. Whenever motion is detected, it will stay on for a while and it will shut off. Or you can basically have it in a dim mode, and then when it detects motion, it will um, get bright so just so as you saw just now my hand triggered it and you can see the level of brightness the range is pretty good and um, it's lighting up the entirety of the room now um, its range is very good not bad at all for a solar light and of course once you have a full day's charge you should be good check out the lights guys you can see the level of the led it's bright it's not overly whelming but bright enough to give adequate uh, adequate light all right so um let's check out the mode that it's in and you have three modes to choose from and this is one of the modes where it stays in a basic light and if it detects uh movement as you just saw a while it will get brighter and if nothing happens for a while it will go back to its dim mode and this is the other mode not bad at all and it stays on for a few minutes probably a minute or so and then it will go to dim all right notice it goes to dim and when movement is detected as my finger just moved it will go to bright again all right and then of course there's off where it's totally off so you have basic on and it will increase in brightness and of course you have the mode in which it basically turns off everything and then comes on as soon as it detects um, motion all right this is the last mode or the third mode stays on for a while 
and even if there's motion it will stay on in its uh, basic lit format all right so there are three modes for you to choose from so if you want you can have it stay on in a constant dim mode you can have it dim then it will become bright when it detect motion or of course you can have it off and it will only come on whenever motion is detected and of course i like um the various modes i'm going to turn on the light now you do get the idea of the intensity all right guys um as you can see guys i'm going to turn this off and the um, control knob is at the back here it comes in the shielded area which shows one mode two and three and of course off so i'm going to turn this off and you can close the back with this seal that um, prevents water from um, getting in and of course guys just a few things what i like one i like the size two i like the um, solar panel on the top is very efficient i actually was able to charge this for testing purposes just with the plastic on and of course imagine if it was in direct sunlight it would charge very efficiently the motion sensor is good and of course the led does cover a large area um, it produces decent lighting it's not going to be super, super bright, but of course it's bright enough to light up an area and works well. It comes in a relatively light format and of course it comes with all of the mounting gear that you need. And of course I like the overall design and it's very efficient in what it does. Compared to the competition's um, other devices um, that are similarly designed, you're going to find that you get way more bang for your buck for this one here. As it is way more stylish and it's unique and it gives a greater coverage. Alright guys? So, of course, if you have a driveway or something like that, or an area of the house that you want lit, you can actually use these and it will um, improve the lighting in that area. And you can detect motion or movement. And, of course, as you saw, guys, you can um, light up that area um, quite nicely without any problems using one of these. All right, I want to thank you guys again from at on for you for sending over this review unit. Of course, if you have any direct questions about this product, I can um, answer them below. As always, guys, Ricardo from uh, Blog Tech Tips. Same bye until next time. Bye.